Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, That Card Guy. Uh, today I got a quick little video to show you about COMC. That's Check Out My Cards, or COMC for short. And what they are is they're a third party company where you can send your cards into and they kind of do all the work for you. They scan the cards, they list the cards, and they ship the cards for you once they sell. All you gotta do is price them and they're on the website. They also cross list it over to eBay, which is great. So now you're selling it on both platforms. I like to use it for cards that are $3 more. I don't like to use it for cheaper cards because it does cost about 50 cents per card for them to upload it for you. A little bit more expensive if you're selling higher dollar items. And there is quite a wait time right now to get your cards uploaded. It can take a couple months to several months to get your cards uploaded once you send them into them at that lower price point. So there are some drawbacks to it as well. But if you're selling cards in bulk, you like selling those cheaper items on there rather than listing them individually yourself on eBay. It's a great place to sell extra cards. What I use it for is I find cards in dollar boxes, 50 cent boxes, even dime boxes at card shows and card shops. Send them into them and then I can buy cards from my personal collection with the proceeds from them. So this is just a completely side hustle from my main business. It's not anything that uh, is part of my income. I just use it for adding to my own personal collection. So let's get started and go over some of the sales that I've had from the last uh, few weeks, the last couple months. All right, here we go. Uh, we're starting from just sales from the last couple days and this shows everything that I've sold, cards that I've sent in. Many of them have been there for months and some of them could even be there for a couple years. And I'm really gonna highlight the stuff that I bought on COMC and then flipped like this Skip Hicks rookie here shows that I bought it for $5.55. Sold it for about 10 bucks, didn't have it too long, you know, made a few dollars on that one. And again, we're just gonna kind of scroll through all these. You can see the variety of cards that I'm buying. Lots of stuff from the 2000s here. Not a lot of super ultra modern cards, anything from 80s, 90s, and there's definitely a lot of graded stuff. And that's what I've been flipping a lot of on this website. You'll see right here, there's a bunch of cards from 82, 86, 79, all cards that I've bought, all PSA 9s, bought for sub $10, some as low as $6.70. And they sold anywhere between 16 to like $18 in here. So good solid profits on these. And I don't mind buying these cards and holding them for a little while when you're buying good quality cards like this. Again, you can see there's Michael Jordan, TJ Dillashaw, rookie. He just won a couple nights ago. So the card sold after the fight. Uh, even stuff like uh, Marvel cards, Iron Man versus Doom, Captain America. And we get back to some baseball cards here. And again, you'll see the price ranges anywhere from like $3 and some up to on average, my sale on there is probably around five bucks, several in that eight, nine dollar range. See some of these LeBron James cards. I picked these up, I think, for a quarter a piece. I send jersey cards in sometimes. Now, here is an insert card of Patrick Ewing. I'm going to bring up a close up here for you to show you. This literally had a big chip out of the corner, but these cards are in such demand. I still got almost $25 for that card after fees $23.46. It was what card that I picked up for a quarter at a, at a card show. So there are great deals to be found out there. You don't always have to go for the bright, shiny stuff. People like these cards from the 90s that are hard to find. Uh, again, racing cards, soccer cards. I sell just about everything here. Refractors. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a Tim Wakefield rookie. Bought this card for 15 bucks. Sold for 23. Not a huge profit, but still net six dollars. Quality rookie card. Another one here. Andre Johnson bought this one for 19. Basically doubled my money. Sold it for 40 dollars. A couple wrestling cards of uh, Kale Sanderson. More of these LeBron cards. Another Andre Johnson. Or Andre Johnson rookie. Bought it for 270. Net. Net $2 on that one, but again, a quick little flip for a quality rookie card of Andre Johnson. LeBron James. I sell just about everything. Even these, uh, here's a couple more. A couple of 1980 basketball cards, both PSA 9s. Bought for, you know, 10 and 8 bucks. Got 20 and $16 for them. Another one here. Bought for $7.75. Sold for 15 bucks. These are the kind of ones I like. I'm always going out there looking for sub $10 PSA 9s and it's amazing how many of them are out there. What else we got here? We got uh, baseball, basketball. We got another wrestling one or uh, MMA there, Carla Esparza. 
couple of these Josh Gibson cards, and it's amazing how valuable these cards are and people don't really even realize it. I got 30 and $13 for these two cards. Uh, and again, these are ones that I probably bought out of a 50 cent box at a card show. Another card I flipped here, Brian Bosworth rookie, PSA 9. Uh, not a huge flip, but uh, bought for 16, sold for uh, 26.73 bunch more here and a lot of uh, two and three dollar cards here off this next list all right now here's a good one uh, an LT autograph from Sage I looked for the cheapest autograph of LT out there it was this one 25 bucks uh, how long did I have this card I had it for uh, about three months ended up making about ten dollars on it uh, another one another basketball card 14 into 22 and a D hop rookie 37 dollars into 60 so that was a pretty good sale too Keep scrolling through these. Here's another really good sale here. Paul Molitor, uh, Donruss Diamond King. I sold it for $17.25. Another item that was bought out of a dollar box at a card show. Another PSA 9 flip, $12.99 in, into 20 bucks. Another low price rookie here. This is our Sean Alexander. It's a PSA 10 for $11. I sold it for about 25. It's a guy that has an outside shot at the Hall of Fame someday. Another quality rookie card. Underappreciated, Kevin Mawai, or Mawai, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. I sold it for about $5. These are cards that you can find all the time for like 10 and 25 cents because nobody really knows about it. Now here's an autograph rookie of Sergio Alcantara. I bought this out of a dollar box at a card show. Sold it for about $40. 37 after fees. More LeBron James cards. Another low dollar uh, PSA 10 card, work done, bought for 11, sold for 20, net about $8. Here's a Ryan Tannehill rookie down here, and that one was another card show buy. I think I did pay $3 for that one though, but still sold it for 22. And then the next card here that I'm gonna show you is this Michael J. Fox card. These are the type of cards that are starting to get more popular is for some of these non-sports sets and just the title characters from each of the shows. So this one here, you see, I got $7.25 before fees, and I re really had nothing into this card. It was a, an extra in a box that I bought recently. A couple more cards, and we're gonna flip over to the next page here. All right, what do we got going on here? An autograph, Kevin Gosman, Albert Bell, uh, more Marvel cards. There's an Eric Moulds. That's a platinum medallion. Got $9 for that one. Ronda Rousey rookie. Now this is a WWE rookie from 2018. And her MMA cards are worth a little bit more. This one sold for about $5, but it was a card that I picked up for 50 cents. Darrell Rivas rookie for $8. Uh, his cards are definitely uh, fairly valuable and uh, underappreciated. Mario Andretti racing car for about five bucks. Get down here, uh, we got a Steph Curry. This is just an insert card from Panini Threads, but it's kind of a cool jersey looking card. It's not an actual swatch of jersey, but it's just in the shape of a jersey. Got $15 for this, it was another dollar box find. Tom Brady Ultimate Collection, got $40 for that one. That was a really nice sale. Another Drill Revis rookie card. Steve Iserman, Winter Soldier, Justin Verlander. Now here's a really, really good one. I, I Again, I looked for the cheapest Ricky Henderson autograph that I could find one day, and it was a sub $50 one from uh, America's Pastime from Panini. And it did take about a year to sell, but I went from $48 purchase, got $80 for it, net just under $30. The next card is this Dan Marino. There's another PSA 9 from 86, which is a tough card to get graded in a PSA 9. Bought it for sub $10. This one probably sold too cheaply. I sold it for 16 bucks and uh, had it for about seven months. Kind of wish I had that one back. All right, we've got some cool inserts here. Barry Bonds, Grant Hill, Chris Carter. Uh, just really neat cards. And this is always the stuff that I'm looking for at card shows. Just these neat things that you don't see every day. Next page again, what do we got here? Marcus Camby insert, Torrey Holt rookie, another Gem Mint 9.5, bought for 15, sold for 30. 
Kirby Puckett, Vlad, Johnny Bench, a hockey card. I don't do a whole lot of hockey, but every once in a while you'll see one slip in there. Matt Stafford, uh, what else we got? Dwight Freeney rookie card, Mad Bum rookie card, a Mike Piazza minor league one for uh, one for about 16 bucks. Autograph of Jesse Winkler, Paul Pierce rookie. Now next we're gonna talk about these le legendary cuts cards because I really like these and they're fairly scarce. Sell for good money if you uh, wait for the right buyer. Got five, 10 and $10 basically for these three cards. And again, they were 50 cent box buys at a card show. This is the kind of stuff that I love finding, love flipping. Again, it doesn't sell overnight, but uh, actually these cards sold pretty quick once they listed. 15 days each of these lasted on the site. There's a couple more graded cards. Now this one's a PSA 10, Brett Marshall or Burt Marshall, common, bought for $21 for a PSA 10 78 tops hockey. Doubled my money basically on this one, sold for $40. Another one, Craig Cameron from 74, it was a PSA 9. This one, again, sub $10 for a PSA 9 to me is just ridiculous when it's from 1974. Always looking for great buys like this. Even after fees, I still ended up doubling my money on this one. All right, keep scrolling. You see we got basketball, even an APBA. Be on the lookout for these. These APBA cards do sell pretty well. They take a long time, but you can usually find the games pretty cheap. Really nice Kobe Bryant card, and surprisingly, I found this in a dollar box. I actually thought it was going to be damaged or something, but it wasn't. So turn that dollar card into a net of sixteen dollars and eighty-one cents. So uh, added to my collection fund, pretty good on that one. All right, here's another really good flip. One of my favorite players of all time, Jim Kelly, found this autograph forty-seven dollars, and this one didn't take too long. Less than a month. I bought it for 47 and sold it for 75. So there was a net of $24 on this one. And again, it just took a few weeks on that. Randy Moss rookie, Austin Matthews rookie, Clemente, Gary Carter, Sandy Koufax. You can see the type of names I'm looking for those key guys and those rare inserts and short prints. Here's kind of a cool card, Conrad Dobler from uh, 78 Tops, another PSA 9, sub $10, bought it for $8.20. Just about doubled my money, 15 15 after fees. All right, we got Gary Payton, Mookie Betts. Actually, this is, a, I think, a second year card of Mookie, and this was a card that I just got in a big bulk lot, didn't really have probably less than a dollar into it. I ended up selling for $13.25, so uh, $12.58 after fees, but again, card that really wasn't worth a whole lot back in 2015 so it's easy to find them in some common boxes all right that's it thanks everybody for watching i'll see you on the next one